uh, greetings. Uh, my name is Devender, and I am with Outdoor Classroom. Uh, we are uh, right now. We are three team members, and uh, one of my member is Raghav, and uh, both of us are into outdoor education. So our uh, concept of outdoor class has been generated throughout my experience in uh, being in wild and outdoors. Uh, so I've been into teaching profession uh, from almost uh, 10 years now. And uh, what I saw in outdoor and in camping and basically with rock climbing experience that there are children who are out in the world and they are looking for something to find a meaningful uh, uh, conversation that can they can have with themselves you know they can find their own place uh, so uh, I've seen that they need very little support and there is a community that get builds up with outdoor education and whenever we are out in the open so this uh, cooperation and uh, communication that happened between the kids help them form certain bonds with each other and at the same time they are able to come to an understanding of their own self so that happens because they, these are the experience because uh, one of the primary uh, method that we uh, give our give to our camping is experiential education that is based on inquiry method and adventure based education so all these uh, experiences help them uh, connect better with nature with self and uh, at the same time they can understand what is the place that they have in their own life about it so this was one of the trigger points why i wanted to start something into outdoor and i wanted it to be related to education so right now we are uh, having curriculum we are developing into academic and non-academic uh, stuff so basically academic is anything to do with the subjects like science geography and maths so in a recent camp we have been gone to vikarabad that is a place in hyderabad uh, telangana so there, uh, children could just see that there is the difference between the soil, it is black, and all over there is the cotton. And uh, they were asking this question among themselves, you know, why it is like that. And uh, they could see it live happening in front of them. So all these questions, I, I don't need to give them any theory. They understand why it is happening and how a farmer is uh, planting these crops. You know, there is a distance between all these things. So all these uh, things lit, led to more questions and we can discuss about it and reflect upon our experience. And uh, this is how one of the subjects that we have, geography, could be easily taught to them. And uh, the current education system that we have focuses more on uh, linear and analytical methods. And there is uh, assessment that is based completely on grading. So it is not wrong, but it is one of the method. There is no better alternative for it. But this kind of education helps them understand uh, better. And they are very engaged when they are doing it. And at the same time, uh, they can see for themselves that what is happening around them instead of somebody giving uh, pictures or somebody just giving a lecture about the same thing. So we've been doing this for almost uh, two years now. And I've been associated with the uh, experiential education and camping for the past eight to nine years. I've been taking kids to places around Hampi, then Badami, and then uh, Uttarakhand, Himachal. And uh, anyhow, we do very uh, our own one day activities around Hyderabad in the nature. So most of my time with the youth uh, is also very crucial for me to come into an understanding that what is that our young need? The people who are in the age bracket of 14 to you know uh, 20, they are trying to figure it out what is happening around the world and uh, trying to make a connection with it. So giving the community thing for them is very crucial because you'll see how they are hooked on to Instagram or social media uh, platform. They need some kind of uh, belonging to some place. And uh, through rock climbing and through hiking, I have seen that they are able to develop friendship that has still lasted. So when I joined uh, into adventure, I have met people and I have seen them growing throughout the years. So it's been 10, 12 years now, and I see them still meeting each other and uh, forming these bonds and talking to each other and they, they have this sense of belonging that sometimes also it, it goes into the realm of uh, existential uh, crisis that our children might uh, have with their identity in adolescent so this helps them 
break something into that you know break into that uh, boundaries and experiment and outdoor is one of the best way i think we also the similar factor why we had so many rituals in our ancient india with the that has to do with outdoor you know uh, going in the wild and staying there uh, so we have beautiful stories about the uh, vanvas and uh, uh, people going out in the wild for uh, some kind of experience that their teacher has told them so these are rituals that uh, are same ancient and they work pretty well and especially in the current generation that i see the amount of physical activities has reduced and uh, because of the gadget and the lifestyle that we have we are not able to give them that kind of area so with the, all these uh, uh, concrete uh, buildings that we have around it becomes very hard for children to explore in the outdoors so we are giving a platform for them to learn about uh, uh, subjects and also we do a lot into the non academic stuff so that is more related to 21st century skills so i can give you an example of uh, the recent camp that we had so we made sure that all the kids get their own plates and uh, utensils to eat their food and they were uh, made to wash it afterwards they are done and uh, one of the parent after the camp has uh, given a review that the child is still washing it and putting it and they are you know uh, lining their blanket properly after getting up from the sleep so these are all the things that are more related to non academic stuff but they are very important because uh, we are trying to make children think on their own what they are doing why they are doing and become more responsible for their own life you know take that responsibility take that initiative that uh, you know there are things that i can explore and there are things i can do and uh, we give this kind of platform uh, for them uh, to become more self aware so right now i think uh, children are having a lot of issues related to stress and especially in india it is growing with a really uh, increasing and alarming number so uh, i have seen that you know coming in outdoors they are able to explore themselves they feel one with the nature the sunset and uh, swimming in the uh, swimming pool there are natural pools that we have taken them to and there was mud bathing there that they did on their own uh, there it was not in the itinerary to you know have a mud bath they just explore their own their own so our whole idea is to give them experiences and design and structure our programs in such a way that they allow them to experience in a safe environment we want them to come out of their comfort zone but in such a way that the environment is not painful it is not uh, uh, giving them any it's not any kind of putting them into harm it is very controlled at the same time they are able to just push their boundaries and come back so this is what children even of young age do whenever they are going out in the playground they are playing if somebody they get hurt or they are you know just uh, somebody is uh, talking to them in a different way so they come run back to their parents and then you just console them and they go back again so we want our children to ex explore and experience different things so travel uh, outdoor camping and uh, camping in the winter is especially uh, really nice because uh, the temperature is little down and uh, you can see different kind of birds migratory birds are coming and uh, it, the the whole area becomes very beautiful so that is the whole idea about uh, outdoor classroom and uh, one of the experiences that i had throughout the camping is that i can see children growing on their own so we took uh, children to this place uh, in rishikesh and uh, there uh, we were having a uh, white water rafting so some of them were scared about it but even though uh, getting into the water they were able to connect with it they were able to come out of it and uh, this was one of the very memorable experience for the children because they are in the open water yes of course they are with the life jackets and there is uh, people who are trained to rescue them but getting into certain uh, into environment which uh, causes little bit fluctuation in their comfort zone help them <coughs> think differently so these experiences are very regular and uh, you take any camping uh, camping that i have done i have always seen that younger children or the older children they take back something home and most of them are still connected and they 
you know they they always think of this as one of the most positive experience in their life and it definitely helped them with the uh, different uh, understanding so basically we want to improve their emotional intelligence so they can uh, become more self aware of their feelings and uh, they can motivate themselves they can have empathy for others and uh, they can handle relationship properly so all these experiences in the wild are helping them to grow and become better uh, person and this is done through community building and uh, the kind of uh, community we have created in hyderabad for climbing rock climbing has uh, been developing and we are seeing a phenomenal growth in that so the locations that we generally do in hyderabad are vikarabad uh, and then we have uh, <coughs> <coughs> i'm sorry so we have kisargutta and then we have uh, rachkonda and then there is uh, khajaguda and uh, there are places in uh, yadgiri gutta so most of these are like monolithic rocks are there and other kal that we are developing for camping and uh, climbing experiences and uh, pandwala gutta that has been developed and bolted for climbing uh, so all these areas the beautiful thing about them is that they have <coughs> <clears throat> they have this place uh, with the water body so they have this wildlife all the birds different migratory birds come there and the bird watching is one of the most beautiful experience for the children because uh, you have to be very silent so these are really amazing uh, experiences for them and then pandola gutta and rachikonda are camping areas and at the same time the rocks are developed for people and we have an association with the uh the government of telangana for developing pandola gutta for rock climbing uh, so they have hiking rock climbing and uh, water sports and kayaks we have uh, uh, kayaking in an area around us and uh, this is one of the water sports that they can do and, uh, and yeah most of these things are related to hiking and camping so this is the whole uh, experience that an outdoor education can give it to the child and uh, these are just some of the seeds that we can uh, sow in them and we can just wait for them to get you know to nurture and grow on their own so that is all from my side and i really thank you for listening to me thank you